Comedy Time presents Comedy Brew, a delicious mix of short, fast, funny, featuring today's most hilarious comedians. So crank up the volume and switch off the light, and get ready to enjoy the sweet, fresh taste of comic goodness. Hey, what's up? This is Shang, and this is Comedy Time. Now, I want you to know if you've ever woke up with a tranny after a bachelor party, you will love this next comedian. I'm dedicating this set to my father. He passed away three months ago of cancer. <laughs> Sad, I know. I love the man, the greatest guy of all time. Let's dedicate this to him. It was weird, though, because when he passed, the people say the weirdest stuff. They're like, no matter where you go, your father will always be watching you. <laughs> and I'm like, God, I hope not. <laughs> When I'm showing a woman my naked body on the internet, <laughs> I hope he's not watching. <laughs> I had to call like all my father's friends like right before he passed, and he had this guy who was the dumbest guy in the world. Like three days before my dad died, he goes. Why didn't he go to the guy in Kansas City who cures cancer? And I'm like, wouldn't he be like in New York? <laughs> and wouldn't he be like the most famous person in the world? And why Kansas City? Maybe that's why people die of cancer. They don't want to go to Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> the one joke that didn't work. <laughs> Will you forgive me? <laughs> I might get lucky after this. <laughs> no. <laughs> you gotta try. <laughs> I love this though. This is like the best time of my day. I love being up here. This is like the only time I smile is up here. And I should smile more because I have a nice smile. <laughs> When I leave her on the street, nobody knows what I do. I see all these beautiful girls. I want them to know I did well on stage. Sometimes they just get in their face. I'm just like, don't you know who I am? <laughs> and I gotta be honest, that the pepper spray does go through the glasses. <laughs> you guys have been so great. I'm Maddie Goldberg. Thank you. Thanks for watching Comedy Time. This next comedian really spoke to me. I can't remember his name or what he said, but it was powerful. Enjoy. Yeah, my parents are originally from the Ukraine, and uh, a couple of weeks ago was a really rough time for me because, uh, you know, World Cup was going on and Ukraine was in the World Cup. So there was like, you know, a really big part of me wanted to root for Ukraine. But I'm also an American now, so there's another big part of me that doesn't give a about soccer. <laughs> so I don't know which way to go with that. Uh, I was just in Amsterdam, and um, I know what you're thinking. That's right, and Frank's house. And, uh, no. That's the number one thing that people think. You say Amsterdam, all my friends, dude, did you get high? Did you get high? Yeah. But I also got high right before I left. What's the big deal? Anybody having a hard time getting high? Sit around with your friends, do you want to smoke some weed? I'd love to, but it's illegal. Get out. Get out. I have a girlfriend now, she's sneaky, she always tries to play tricks on me, right? She'll always try and trick me into buying her really expensive gifts for her birthday. And she thinks, she, I don't know, I know. It's always the same thing, it's like, oh honey, my birthday's coming up, let's play a fun game. Let's play a fun game. Why don't you look through this Tiffany's catalog and guess what I want for my birthday? That game blows. I got a better game, baby. Why don't you look through this Sears catalog and guess what I got you? 
I bet you'll win. Uh, I'm glad I have a girlfriend now because I'm horrible at dating. Horrible. I'm a bad liar, that's why. You have to lie. That's all dating is. Just lying to the other person as much as you can possibly do it. You like horses? I love horses! You hate horses. My friends will make up fake names. We'll be at a bar. My friends will like make up fake names to impress women. Be like, what's your name? Oh, my name, my name is Tim Sears. Like the store. Oh my God, you must be rich. What's your name? I'd be like, oh, my name is uh, Ken. Tucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Want some gravy on that? What's up? Hey Comedy Time viewers, Zoltan here with another dose of hilarity that's gonna go right past your brain and right into your funny bone. I try not to be angry, I try to age gracefully. I watch a lot of Oprah because I love her. She's so positive. But I think she's out of touch with reality because I read in Forbes magazine that she made $350 million last year. And then she's on her show talking about the financial crisis in America. Yeah, yeah, and she goes, I understand what the American people are going through. <laughs> She goes, when I was a little girl, I was so poor I couldn't afford to be a brownie because I couldn't buy that uniform. Do you remember the uniform, ladies? That ugly button-down brown dress we had to wear with a military sash and a little yarmulke-like beanie? <laughs> we looked like little Jewish UPS drivers. insensitive to Oprah, but she really, she has no clue. She, she has a show about anti-aging and women going through the change, so I want to watch that one, right? And she goes, as women, we need to celebrate the changes our bodies go through. Celebrate. <laughs> Have a party. <laughs> I've read all the literature from Dr. Oz. Okay, we've got, let's see, we've got irritability, we have loss of bladder control. <laughs> oh, and my favorite one. Oh, you're going to love this one. Guys love this one. Dryness. <laughs> I just hate to think that I'm at the point in my life where the only time I'm going to get moist is if I sneeze and pee my pants. <laughs> Suzanne Summers, do you remember Suzanne Summers with the ponytails, the thigh mask? Remember her? Now she wrote a book about bio identical hormone cream. Okay? It's testosterone and estrogen. You rub it on your body and it creates the fountain of youth. And it increases your libido. And I got to tell you, I tried it and after 90 days I was quite amorous. And I grew a mustache and a goatee. <laughs> But you can't tell because I'm wearing pants. <laughs> Thank you very much, you guys. Hey, it's Tyler Bowe with Comedy Time, and you're going to love this next comedian. They're very funny and a nice person. They'd watch you if you were on Comedy Time. Relationships are tough, man, especially during the economic crisis, folks, man. It's kind of crazy this year. Hate to dwell on it, but Valentine's Day was a little hard for me because of the economic crisis. You know, I couldn't do things I normally do. Like, I couldn't get my girl a bouquet of roses. Couldn't do that. So I did the next best thing. I got her uh, some flower seeds and soil. <laughs> <laughs> Said something smooth when I gave it to her, though. I was like, here, plant these, and I hope they grow like our relationship. <laughs> She was bragging about me in no time. She was like, my man is so romantic. <laughs> Telling her friends, your flowers are gonna die in a week. My man is thinking about the future. <laughs> nah, I wasn't thinking about the future. I was thinking about my pockets. That's what I, 
I couldn't get a nice card the way I normally do. You know, nice card that has a nice theme. When you open it, it has music. Costs about fifteen dollars. I couldn't do that. Not this year. But I still went down to the same hallmark I went to last year. But this year, I took some loose leaf paper with me. I was copying out all the best lines. I was like, this line is good. Ooh, this line fits right here. Mix and match. Spray some cologne on it. Got some nice penmanship too. So when I gave it to her, I was like, baby, just let me let you know that I was searched and searched, but I couldn't find a card that suits the way I feel about you. <laughs> so over the last couple of weeks, I sat down and I wrote this one from the heart. <laughs> she read it, she's like, oh my God, you should write for Hallmark. <laughs> I was like, maybe I should, but that's just for me to you. Please don't submit it, please. <laughs> Let's just keep that between us. <laughs> Don't feel bad for my girlfriend, though. We're gonna have a fantastic Valentine's Day next year. Cause you know, even though it's an economic crisis, I have time, not to save up, but to plan. And I got it planned out. Next year, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be like, baby. I'm gonna sit her down the day before Valentine's Day, and I'm gonna be like, baby, thanks for sticking with me through this year, through thick and thin. And because of that, I love you so much. And with that in mind, I just wanna let you know that I think you deserve a Valentine's Day all your own. So we're going to celebrate on the day after. Okay, things are a little cheaper the day after. But I'll be able to send out a bouquet of flowers the day after Valentine's Day that says, Yo, this Valentine's Day is yours and yours only. And she'll get all the attention from her friends and co-workers. And I'll be able to save 75% on the flowers. <laughs> So it all works out. She gets the attention, I get the save. I know what the guys are thinking right now. They're like, wow, I wish I didn't bring my girl today. <laughs> Just in case you want to know more money saving tips, I have a seminar at the Learning Annex. <laughs>
I read an article where uh, women list the qualities that they seek most in a man, and the number one response was a sense of humor. They want a guy who can make them laugh. And while that may be true, I find that everything a man says is somehow funnier when he's driving a BMW. <laughs> personal experience. Yeah. yeah, I found myself always trying to get off the phone too, you know, when you're dating. And I like to talk to people to a point and then I start to get itchy, you know, like I got things to do. So when a comedian's time is up, we, we get a light and we know to wrap things up. I think we should have the same thing on the phone. You know, we just give them the light and on their end it'll blink. And after a minute, they'll just be like closing music. Minute, 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 bam, blink. Hi there, this is Suna Bilstead for Comedy Time. They say laughter is contagious. They also say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. I think they probably got their medical degree online. Let's hope they're watching this next clip. I got a Ford Focus, it's an 05. <laughs> Some guy was born in 05 in the room. <laughs> Check his ID. I, uh, it's an 05 and it's, uh, I don't mean to brag, ladies, but it's totally almost paid for. <laughs> 78 more comedy times. And uh, <laughs> I like the Focus, man. When you get a car like a Focus, you gotta buy the accessories because you don't wanna just drive a Focus. You wanna try to decorate it to be like another car. You know what I mean? <laughs> Because otherwise, it's just a focus. So I got the spoiler on the back. Yeah. So in case I ever do hit 65, it's going to hug the road. <laughs> Downhill. I, um, and I, I, oh, I got the windows tinted too. Yeah. It's like 200 bucks. Double the resale value right there. As if I'm ever going to be driving around, uh, you know, Beverly Hills and people are going to start craning their necks like, who's that in the focus? I think it was Kanye. Was that Kanye? <laughs> he lost the focus. I was, uh, I, I like being from New Mexico because I tell people out uh, in Los Angeles that I'm from New Mexico and I get a bunch of responses. Every uh, guy will always say to me, bro, I drove through there, which I don't give a crap. You know? <laughs> Where do you work? Applebee's? I've walked through there, bro. <laughs> I was talking to a girl at a bar one time, and it was like love at first sight. Uh, it was like, uh, it's 2 a.m., 15 Jaeger shots in each, loaded, right? Way before this, by the way. And I was talking to this girl, leaning really close, because ladies love to smell the Marlboro Lights and the Bud Light on a guy's breath. It, the fellas. And, uh, and I told her I was from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and she goes, isn't that where Bugs Bunny took a wrong turn? <laughs> I came that close to not making out with her in my focus. I swear to God. You guys are great. My name is Joel Bryan, guys. Have a great night. What's up, Comedy Time viewers? This next comic is a real clown. And don't worry, it's just a term meaning really, really funny. It's not an actual clown. We wouldn't want to scare your kids or anything. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta tell you one thing, I swear to God, like when you have a baby, the biggest thing that happens is all of a sudden you get these boobs out of nowhere, right? It's like boobs galore, right? Like this guy's looking at me like, that must have been a long time ago. Um, and I gotta be honest, I kinda liked having boobs for the first time in my life, you know? Cause um, what I have right now is tits. And um, isn't that nuts? And I thought about it, I'm like, should I get implants, you know, join the Hollywood crowd, that'd be really cool. But then I thought like, well, how do you know what size to get, you know? It's not like you go to the mall and you try on a dress, you know? And I think we should be able to do that. How do you know if you want C's or D's? You know, don't you think so, ladies? So I thought the best way to do this is make homemade implants before you commit and go try it out one night to test it. So I went dancing to test it out. Tell me what you think now, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah. Woo! 
just, I like the D's for one night, man. I was D's. Whoa, you know? And I wanted to make sure I got a lot of action, so I was like, man, is a chili in here. I am like... <laughs> So nippy, <laughs> it's just nippy. Oh man. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie, I felt like a new woman, man. Oh my gosh, I was acting like the cool girls. You know, I leaned up against the wall, you know how they do that, and I just stand there, and I just started checking it I'm not gonna lie, man. When I saw a hottie, I was like, hey, baby, what's up? What's up? <laughs> then I turned around, like, oh my God, a geek. Oh my God, hey. <laughs> right back at ya. Right there. Oh gosh, I am not gonna lie. It was crazy, everything was going really good until this guy comes walking up to me and he's all buff. He had one of those bodies that you know you wouldn't believe he's all cut up and I got nervous and flustered and I screwed it up because I was like, oh my gosh, hi, hi, I'm Francis, hi. <laughs> 